So atheist, if you don't want to lose credibility for your movement and for yourself, then quit saying that DNA is not code, especially when the claim of a theist is more specific in saying that mRNA is code. So what I recommend you do is you study what DNA is and study what mRNA is. All right, DNA is transcribed part of it into mRNA and that sequence of nucleotides, what's hidden inside that sequence of nucleotides is the sequence of amino acids, a polypeptide chain that turns into a protein that turns into this, an enzyme or some other kind of object for the living cell to use. And so study that, study what translation means. Compare a codon chart, which tells you how the three nucleotides is translated into one amino acid. Compare that to a Morse code chart. If Morse code is code, which Morse code is a functional sequence being translated into another functional sequence, but the second sequence is words that we understand. Same with mRNA. If scientists just look at a strand of mRNA under a, a great microscope, they can't tell what it is, but after it's translated, then they can tell what kind of protein that is. Um, you know, look at, uh, you know, GMO, genetically modified organisms that they're taking a sequence of DNA from another organism and they're putting it in this organism so that it can be different because that difference, that trait is hidden in the DNA. All right, now we have mRNA vaccines, right? So that makes you less credible because people are understanding that the goal of that mRNA vaccine is to produce a protein in your body so that your immune system can react to that protein. Well, now people are understanding that the code for that protein is in the mRNA. So I understand you're denying science, aspects of science, because you don't want to believe in a creator. Well, you've got to stop that because people are going to think you're less credible, right? So, I mean, scientists know what an analogy is. They could say DNA is like code, mRNA is like code. But when you look at all these scientific papers, when you look at... Um, scientific sources. Just study DNA. Just look up what is DNA, what is mRNA, and look at secular sources that you trust. They say it is code. That if you decode it, you're getting the protein. That the ribosome decodes it and turns it into a polypeptide chain. So may you be more credible and stop being a science denier by saying that DNA is not code or by saying that mRNA is not code. And I think it's funny because what happens a lot is I say mRNA is code and then Atheists would be like, DNA is not code. And I'm like, you misspelled mRNA, which tells me you're already trying to dodge the scientific evidence because you can't even steel man a simple sentence like mRNA is code. You change it to DNA because it's even more difficult to say mRNA is not code. This book is great for new believers. And if I were a youth pastor again, then I would just go through these 100 questions over and over with them. It's also great for leading small group Bible studies, mentoring, and as a daily devotional. The Kindle version is only 99 cents.